Hello everyone and welcome back to Alien Isolation Playthrough. This is part 9, I'm Gary. And we've just got off the elevator. We've just left uh, the reception area. We're trying to get back to Taylor and Samuels. Tomorrow, together, equals no future. Grim. Okay. Let's make some progress. It's awfully quiet. The music's just... just dissipated. Where are we now? Ah! Somebody's watching. Is... I think that's the way I need to go. It's a shame you can't just climb over the counter. You can go crawling through vents and everything, but uh, can't go climbing over the counter. Nope. Do I have the right key code? I do. I have an access tuner. Here we go. Again, I apologise if my voice is a little bit croaky or a bit a bit snotty. Been a bit under the weather lately. There we go. Code accepted. Okay. Need a torch to get through that door. I think I'm heading back again, like I said, towards Samuels and Taylor. Could be a. I sent you a clear directive not to land on station. I told you we didn't hear your message. We understood you would be. Hey. Identify yourself. Ripley, from the Torrens. Relax, kid. is going on here, Marshal? Where's the security forces? You're looking at them. Feel safer already. I've seen the creature. What is it? I don't know. Something brought here by Marlow, the captain of the Anisadora. The ship that found the flight recorder. Is there anywhere safe left on this station? That creature's running around and the Sikhs and synthetics are less than friendly. Goddamn androids. Ripley. Taylor needs attention. Medical's a no-go. We can't take her there. We have a basic life support unit back at HQ. Then let's go. We need the transit to get to HQ, but it's down. Transit control is upstairs. Let me guess. Samuel says you're an engineer. Go make yourself useful. Uh. Seeing as you screwed up the trap. I screwed yeah, up right. your we'll trap? What? That later, Waits. You protect them while I'm gone. Understood? Ricardo, get a lock on a radio so we can stay in touch. You know, you kind of look familiar, Marshal. Uh, don't suppose uh, you've got a son who's thinking about joining up with the uh, the military? Are you all right, Ripley? Yeah. If you're wondering, that's the voice actor in Aliens really uh, from Aliens. Taylor. It's Gorman, the asshole. Don't worry, Samuels. We'll get her out of here. Yeah. Yep, yep, she's looking, looking real good there. <laughs> I can now leave, I can go? Right, it's time to go. Alright, well, there's a save point, so I'm honing in on it straight away. For just-in-case scenarios. I, I very much doubt the alien's going to turn up here. I could probably have a marching band run through here right now, and I don't think the alien would turn up here. Now, on the other hand... I've got to say, if, if you are ever going to play this game, uh, Alien Isolation, wear it with headphones. Because the sounds echoing all the way around you is just... It's going to make you feel so uneasy. Especially when you haven't seen the alien for a good half an hour. Come on. There we go. Let's get this door open. Call the elevator. And uh, just wait here. So, we've been getting this question a lot lately. When... Am I, when is Ian and me going to review the Alien franchise? 
I've been told that it, it's a crime against fandom and uh, against all YouTube or film critics that we have not yet reviewed the Alien franchise. And I think I might have said this before, and it's... Oh. It's a case of, what could I tell you in a review of, of the Alien movies that you don't already know? Uh, other than sharing my excitement and passion for the franchise. But uh, I've chatted it over with Ian like, multiple times, and I'll be honest, the, the real reason why we haven't done the, uh, the, Alien, the Alien movie reviews yet is because I, I was hoping... To, to get Tony on board from uh, Smart Effects to do some uh, to do some alien effects for us. Who's gonna? Oh, I'll, I'll get back to that in a minute. Calm down in there, you android fuck. Oh, I guess he's got android troubles. Left trigger, right trigger, down. Don't know what that did per se. It's probably going to result in this guy having a bad day. He already feels like death. Well, I tell you now that death is is very close by. Good sir. Uh, so so we we have to um, yeah we wanted to do some special no, effects. Do? We we had the idea of us being cocooned up for the entire review, uh, playing around with the idea of replicating the chest burster scene. Uh, you know, we're so excited about the aliens, we just want to reenact, uh, you know, be kind, rewind style, some of the scenes. Oh, shit. Peek up. Oh, I, I told him. I didn't tell him per se. I told him death was nearby. It came in the form of an android. And the android's just moseying around his own business there. rather not get seen by him. I'm hoping the android just returns back to the room that it came from. There we go. I can't seem to pick up that scrap. Nope, don't seem to need it. Uh, I think he might have seen me then. Nope. Oh, yeah! Ah! Spam the A button, spam the A button, spam the A button. Knock him off. Make some distance. Okay, I can't get through that door. Okay. Okay. Uh, you're starting to test my patience. Okay, let's see. EMP mine. Oh, I've not finished it yet. Now it's finished. <laughs> I not properly prepared. I got a stun button. Oh! Why didn't somebody tell me I had a stun button? Asshole droid. Okay, it's time to quickly build some more med kits. Oh, what's this? A uh, Molotov? Yeah, we'll definitely build that Molotov that we've been waiting to construct. We'll build a second Molotov. Why not? Okay, so we've got. We're getting fairly supplied up now. Okay, we definitely want to use one of those med kits though. My scuffle with the droid wasn't as clean. As it could have been. And, uh, I don't think this guy's scuffle with the droid was that clean either. Damn. That's a lot of blood. Wonder if he had a chance to write a memo before he died. Restart the transit. And he was double crossed. Yep. No audio, no utilities. Okay, oh my god. It looks like the android was just storing corpses back here. We don't need any more flashlight batteries. I suppose I could change the batteries though. There we go. Just holding the Y button. There we go. Anything useful here? The gas torch. Excellent. One of my favorite scenes in Aliens when Vasquez is uh, using the torch. Seal the doors during the escape. After they cut the power. There we go. 
So, so are me and Ian going to review the Alien films? The answer is yes. Despite the fact that we haven't really got the money that we wanted to do the special effect shots, we're going to review them at some point. When is is a different matter entirely. We're, we've been thinking because when we do a huge series of films, the best chance or the best time to do it is is for oct the October week, the Halloween month. As as we've uh, as we've called it, and so what we're going to do it off the shelf is every Halloween we're going to look at an entire franchise, and we've been torn. I I personally this year would like to do the Saw movies or the Final Destination movies, but we've also got the Nightmare on Elm Streets and the Friday the Thirteenth and the Hellraisers and the Critters movies. There's so many horror franchises, and so we're at least covered for like the next ten years. Of horror franchises but it's in which order to do them well lo and behold my birthday actually is in October as well so let's get back to what I was saying take it I had some trouble so it's gonna take me a while to get back we can wait. Taylor can't I can catch the next car Your call. so this October, it's my birthday, and me and Ian usually say, well, for our birthdays, we get to choose whatever one film is near and dear to us that we really want to review. So, I think this October, there's going to be our Alien reviews. I think that's going to be the best time to do it. So, and the other question I get, I keep getting is uh, is how come I'm I'm doing these solo and I'll answer that after we played this tape Drawers at Sinclair we need supplies take what you can from whoever you want I found an area in habitation where we can seal ourselves in and wait for rescue I've got guys welding vents shut and shutting off elevators planted to make it watertight there's no room for more people in the sanctuary and we can make space for them Ripley Men's we heard voices side. as we left watch yeah, yourself get everyone through this alive There's no room for pity. Yeah, that's a good idea. Bunker yourself in, seal off all the entrances and exits, and hope the alien doesn't find a way in. Uh, so yeah, so where, where's Ian? It's a very good question. Now, Ian can only do so much. Ian happens to be married, has children, has, has two full-time jobs, and he's also editing reviews and recording reviews with me. And there's just not enough time in the week to do it to do everything. So th that's where Ian's at. So he's not he's not going to be available to do ev every video. That's why I have Jeff. Ah, I sh maybe shouldn't have said Jeff. The guy does not like Jeff apparently. Just gonna wait for my car, my tram to arrive. And see ya. Let's go. Let's go. Solomon's habitation center, please. We'll leave those guys behind. They're nothing but trouble. It's a very good chance when I come back, they'll all be corpses. And there's the memo again to keep moving slowly and carefully. I try to heed that advice. I do. Cool. Well, we're getting some shots now of the uh, exterior of the Sevastopol station. And as you can see, it looks pretty messed up. Is that the torrents floating by? Or is... It's really hard to tell what's going on in some of those loading shots. Okay, come on game. Load up. Load up. Get the hamsters back on that wheel. Here we go. Regroup with Samuels, Taylor and the Marshals. Which way? 
was this way? Station serving the Solomon's Galleria Mall, Colonial Marshal Bureau, and seeks inhabitation suites. There's that save point. I, it, it's, it's like... I'm like a moth to a flame with those emergency save points now. Ripley, we're in the Marshal Bureau. Just turn right at the top of the stairs. You can't miss it. No welcome committee? Just get up here. Wait no. out. I hear you, Gorman. I, I mean, wait. Can I? Can I open that door? No. They sprayed right over the terminal screen, so I can't read it. Now there's the marshal's office that way. Just want to have a quick look around first, marshal waits. Just checking my corners. Got to check those corners. Fuck the marshals. Yeah, yeah. I'm not in total disagreement here. Okay. Feeling a little bit safer in this place. I don't think the alien's gonna jump jump me right now. A plan? Really? His fucking plans haven't done us much good so far. You're still alive. was that you? Did you get the transit running? We'll be safe here. Nice work. No worries. So, we've got a few uh Sikhs and personnel here. Everyone's looking pretty cheery. Yeah, how's it going? Hey, dude. Yeah. Some optimistic survivors here. How's Taylor? Stable. Should be walking soon enough. Samuels is with her now. Okay. You managed to get transit up and running, so I guess we're even. Where's Ricardo? Prepping our next move. Look, I'm busy. I've got Marlowe in the cells, the lowlife who showed up with your flight recorder. Where's Marlowe's ship? The Anisadora. He put it in a parking orbit around the gas giant. Son of a bitch won't give us the command codes to let us bring it in on auto. Maybe you can get more out of the unhelpful bastard. Go talk to him. <laughs> well, it makes sense. We want either the Anisadoria, uh, Anisadora or... Or my ship, just 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 to dock, so we can just get the hell off this station. So that's Marlow. Okay, what do we got here? Some compounds. Nothing too important, really. I can't really get into Samuels and Taylor right now. Let's go. Uh, let's go see what he has to say. Talk to Marlow. Marlo? My name's Ripley. I'm with the company. It looks like a sad puppy. And he can talk without I'm moving his lips. Reasons. My mother was on the Nostromo when it went missing 15 years ago. You serious? Shit. Well. Shit. We never found her ship, Ripley. Just the recorder. But you sure as hell found something else. What happened out there? I need a way out of here, Ripley. Maybe we could make a deal. Just start talking. I want to know everything. Time for a flashback. It's at this point of the time now where Amanda needs to sit down and just watch Alien. And then she'll know everything. So now, I think the game is, is loading up one of my favorite sections of the game and it's very difficult or it's 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 very rarely done where they'll make an alien game where you do not go to lv426 it's where the derelict ship did the derelict ship is uh it's where all the eggs are you get me lewis Okay, enough already. It's quite funny. Focus on what we're here for. I don't want any mistakes. So now I'm playing uh, Marlow. We're aboard the Anisadora, or the dropship from the Anisadora.
and uh, there you, are. you can probably on. guess where we are. We are on LV426. So, I'm not exactly sure when in the timeline between Alien and Aliens that the company decides to, uh, to set a colony up here. With the atmosphere processing units and whatnot. I'm guessing it's pretty soon after the events of Alien. But it's been 15 years since Alien. So it would make you think that the company must have known that there was something there. Despite not getting the flight recorder from Ripley, or perhaps they did. The signal's getting stronger over here. Your guess is as good as mine. Besides, I thought you lived for this stuff. I just worry about what's right in front of me. And uh, I can't really see that much in front of us right now. Visibility here sucks. Well, I do love the attention to detail in the suits. Very much getting the alien vibe from it. Got that right. I'll have a look around. See if I can find a weak spot. Wait here. Find the route around the blockade. Okay. It's time to go for a wonder. Now. Okay. I'm already slightly lost. I don't want to be going back the way that I came. Gonna need a lift. There we Ice, go. Over here. Give me a leg up. I would hate to do any sort of serious climbing in these suits for fear of just tearing anywhere. I, I found a path. Checking it out. Then you wait some more. I love all the particle effects, the wind effect, the debris on the visor. The shaky cam, it's kind of... Kind of... Feels like I'm being, uh... Blown about the place. And there goes my vertigo fear of heights, playing in right there. Stop looking down, Marlow! Yeah. yeah, I'm good. It was a close one, though. Don't think I'll be able to get back the way I came. Yeah, yeah. I mean, of all the places for a ship to crash on, really chose one of the worst planets, didn't it? Some occasional rumbles in the controller. Oh, doesn't look like I'm going that way. There's a Let's see what's in down rock. here. Stand back. I'm gonna blow it. Let's blow up some rocks. It's a good job I had that in my back pocket. Moving back. Moving back. Let's left trigger and detonate. Oh, yeah. I personally would have made put a lot more distance between me. Whoa. What was, the, what was with the sprinting? Let's get going. What set up explosives me. or? I I got a feeling I'm going to be boosted Ice, up here. here. Give me a leg up. Yep. Why am I always the one being sent first? Okay, okay. When you're ready. And up. There you go. More of the same up here. I can hear some 
The music's kicking in. Our visibility just got better. Wow. You know, I don't care how many times I see it. I never get tired of it. It's just such a bizarre design of a ship. Oh. Just staring at it. I'm just going to walk right off the edge. Okay. To save some time, the game's just going to very quickly take us closer to the ship. We get some more loading screens of the Sevastopol station. Maybe the Anisadora. Not sure. Okay, here we go. Let's find the source of the signal. Well, that would probably be the exact same signal that Ripley and her crew find in the first film. That they home in on. They never actually did discover what the signal was or where the signal was coming from, uh, other than the ship itself. Obviously, they found the eggs. Uh, Kane gets face huggered and they quickly come back to the ship and fly away. Never really mentioned the signal again. So it would make sense that the signal that they homed in on is still transmitting. Hence why Marlo and the Anisadora crew turned up. It's a shame we didn't find the flight recorder first. Being absolutely immersed into the environment right now. Ugh. Oh, I'm not going to make any sexual references. It's okay. I'm going to try and keep it clean. In we go. Into the mouth. Looks like some kind of secreted resin. Something big. Something that's going to change our lives forever. This is probably the most cinematic or most story related oh part of the game, actually. Shit. Careful with what you touch. I don't want anything damaged. It's amazing. It is amazing. What is it? A cockpit? And maybe this is shit. I think we found our payload. We found our payload. You think we're gonna wake him? Hey, sorry, pal. Can it? We're wasting time. Have a look around. It's a life form. It was a life form. Now it's our property. Salvage rights. We need to stake our claim before anyone else does. And the Anisadora is not prepared for something this big. Then we'll take what we can and come back. Have a look around. See what else is here. Marlo, we found something. Tracks. Tracks? It looks like something was dragged. But that's not all. You're not going to like this. What is it? Oh, because they did already find the flight recorder. I can see that. Shit. Let's find out. I'll find the beacon and shut it off. Don't want anybody else finding this place. Foster, Heist, check out the cavern below. So, if this was a Promethean ship, right... Why is the Promethean ship predominantly alien? Unless the aliens took over the ship, nested the whole thing, and, uh... 
and, and then it crashed. I I don't know. Because we see all these walls, it's it's very much the aliens' environment, not the Prometheans. Okay, so now we're going into territory not really explored in the film. And if only they had just gone round that other Nick, corner. So I found the beacon. I'm gonna check it out. Ripley and Kane and would have found the signal. The distress beacon. And they could have shut it down and prevented this from ever happening. I mean, if you saw them like that, how would you turn it off? How do you turn it on? Do you plug a USB into it or what? It's just totally alien. Don't know what happened, but the beacon stopped broadcasting. Ronald, you have got to see this. It's amazing. On my way. Return to the winch. Okay, well, we're going a little bit over time uh, in this part, but that's fine. Uh, we'll, we'll continue with this part uh, until the end of this uh, this flashback. Because I think we all know where this is going, don't we? It's time to go find the egg chamber room. Epic music's playing. Slowly making my way around in awe at, at the sights. Okay, let's climb up. It's Christ as kids are giving. Here, strap yourself in. Strap yourself in, yeah. Down you go. Or am I strapping myself into? Oh. Just like that. Here we go. Let's go down. Ready to go. Giving you the thumbs up. Take me down. doesn't really look like much of a spaceship when you're coming down through here, does it? <laughs> okay, now we do. And there we go. Oh my god. How many eggs do you think are on board this thing? Jesus. Okay. Detaching now. Making my way down. I'm, I'm on my way. I just... I don't want to touch anything. I don't want to trigger anything. But it seems like you've already, uh... You know, broken through the mist. Let's go have a closer look. Fleshy, gunky, horrible stuff. Well, I've already seen your corpse, my dear. I think you're patient zero. Who didn't pause the original alien that the moment the face hugger was was leaping up just to just to see what was on the underside of that creature? And you can, if you know, I, mean, I had it on VHS tape, I had to play with the tracking even on a pause screen just to see it and it's, it's, it's gross. It's horrible. Uh, it's amazing that the creature can actually burn through the visors and the mask to actually get to the face and not burn the face at the same time. Not really considered quite how the face hugger manages to do that. I'm sure there's an explanation for it. 
Uh, but anyway, whilst the game's uh, just loading up, I'm just going to say thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, if you want more of Off The Shelf reviews, we've got film reviews going up on Thursdays, gaming videos on Fridays, and me and Ian's gaming on Saturdays. Not happening, Marlo. Is that right? Well, you know where I am. Well, at least his lips Wait. are moving now. My boy's been attacked by a split up like a Christmas tree. It's here. Plan B. Set it up. Whatever's happening, I want in. Okay, this way. Got something here you'll need. Are we, we're going hunting the alien now, are we? Now we've had that backstory. You best not do anything dickish here, Marshal. Oh, I take it back. I take it back. We've got the flamethrower. We're going to collect the flamethrower. Let's take Let's the flamethrower. This thing works. It's it an better. Animal. Animals are afraid of fire. I hope you're right. I am now very happy. I have a flamethrower. I can't wait to meet that alien again. I've got a plan to trap. Oh. Take a transit car and meet Ricardo in the Cistex fire. I'll coordinate from here. Roger that, Marshal. Roger that. Stay tuned, everyone. In the next part, I'm going to be hunting the alien for a change. <laughs>